Respond! Say something! It's basic training. Life sucks. <laughs> Generally speaking, across the board. Why are you looking at me? I laid in my bunk and I thought, what in the world am I doing? It was, I mean, of course, it was, it's different from Mama's house, that's for sure. I never forgot my recruiter's advice. In boot camp, you want to be outstanding or anonymous. If you allow yourself to stand out, you better excel. Otherwise, you are in for a lot of pain. And there is no way your drill instructor is going to miss a damn thing. That's fine. We'll figure out who they are. I was always under a microscope. Everything was managed. Every piece of your time, when you slept, when you ate, even how your bed was supposed to be made. Take care of the recording in 45 degree angle. Yes, sir! As strict as my dad was, you really can't prepare for what a drill sergeant, you know, is capable of doing. My father told me, you may end up cleaning a toilet with your toothbrush, but you clean that toilet the best that you can. He says, because there's always somebody watching you. You know, you're suddenly living with 65 other women. Um, there's no privacy. You know, we're in these old barracks with these racks, you know, these, these bunk beds. And then you go into these restrooms and you can just imagine terms like me or I are suddenly eradicated from your vocabulary. We were just all in shock. You are now airman. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. Your first name is airman. My first name is sir. And nothing else but sir. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. Initially, you're, you're surviving. There's no learning to be soldiers the first week or two. It's learning how to avoid the, the eye of the drill instructor, how to stay out of their way, how not to draw any attention to yourself, and, and it's pretty much mission impossible. Why are we not done yet? Why? At the beginning, the drill instructors punished all of us for every misstep that any of us made. You better wake up and you better start thinking. They informed us that we are the shabbiest, slimiest group of civilians he has ever met. There is not a snowball's chance in hell that any one of you swinging is going to walk out of here a U.S. Marine. I was like, what am I doing here? Like, you know, they're telling us to do things. I'm like, why? Why Why are you telling us to, you know, strip and get dressed 20 times in two minutes? Like, it all seemed sort of asinine and, and bizarre to me. I mean, just like shoveling food into your mouth like you're a goose. You're just not supposed to think. You act on orders without hesitation. Otherwise, you won't make it, you won't survive. The physical is what gets you first. Uh, you don't expect that amount of physical pain. When the instructor's like, you know, do sit-ups until I'm tired and he just stands there. You can do sit-ups for hours and hours and hours. And then after that, you do a 12 mile rock march with almost a hundred pounds on your back. I didn't like basic training, but you can't talk back to a drill instructor. So I kind of just had to suck it up and, and keep driving forward.